Do you hate the police? Um, this was actually something I've seen on Facebook, and it was it was funny how it was put together in the sense of it's just as biased as people that actually do hate the police. Because um, the point is, they were saying like, how much of a great job they do and all this sort of stuff. I am sick and tired of civil servants blowing their own trumpets. I've got to be honest. You get it from nurses, you get it from uh, teachers, you get it from the police and whatever. They demand respect, they, they, but they don't earn it. Um, the police for me are two overweight middle-aged men sitting in a brand new BMW, sitting on the M5 motorway, waiting to pull somebody over for speeding. That is, that's the police force for me. It is not people that deal with burglaries. It is not people that um, get out there, get off their backsides. Even if you go to Worcester uh, Police Station in the evening, you have to press the buzzer. There's not, it's not even a man desk. And people say cutbacks. I would say pensions. I would say excessive amount of people off with illnesses, which often you wouldn't be able to do in a normal job. Um, I do not respect the police because they've never earned it. They've never earned the respect. I've seen the high levels of incompetence. That's the reality. The Jimmy Savile case and this male, groom, male grooming case that's coming out of... Sorry. Child grooming case. Not male grooming. That's, that's from the... Uh, yeah. The <laughs> child grooming case. Um, the police have been involved along with the local authorities and others, the same as Jimmy Samuel. Um, where did those cases go? Nowhere. They don't take any responsibility for their actions, they're protected by unions, and in the same in the US, they are overly protected by unions that even when they beat somebody to a pulp, they go off on suspended on full pay, etc. And some of the pay is excessive. In the UK, it's very excessive as well and a good pension retire early. There's a lot of stuff people don't see in the background. They'll go on about low pay for, like, well, let's move on to teachers and nurses. The reality is there's a lot of extra cash they receive. They get the uh, location allowances and things like that, but they don't get put in, in the figures because it's normally the unions that put the figures together. So they'll put the basic they miss all the other bits that they get as a nurse. You know, the unsociable hour pay, the, uh, what else have you got in there? Yeah, like their location allowance and things like that. They'll say, oh, they don't earn good money. Subsidized training. Um, yet, at the same time, I hate the NHS. And the NHS is bloated. It's bloated from a management side, but it also, it's all the way through, it's rotten to the core. South Mead Hospital, one of the hospitals involved with relating to its um, surveys, has got a clock in there, a binary clock, that nobody can actually read, that cost over £100,000. It's got a, around, I think it's a quarter million pounds spent on plants for the indoor that are South American. And yet, there is nothing to actually entertain people that are there all afternoon beyond the tree from South America thinking, I wonder how much that cost. Um, people will be happy with televisions, I'll be honest with you. But then again, on every bed, they're charging a fortune for that and telephones and everything else on a day rate, hourly rate, whatever. At the same time, they've got a fortune to spend on trees and things and say, we need money for nurses. Well, spend it on them. Because that is the problem with a lot of these, the police, the NHS, the um, fire, fire brigade, etc, etc. A lot of it is going on pensions, a lot of it is going on the, the higher level people. A lot of it is not going where you see it. Local authorities are the same, the biggest burden is the pension fund. And yet these people are telling you that you've got to respect them. They haven't earned it. They're parasitical in many cases. Now, don't get me wrong, nurses have a function, but guess what? So does everybody else on this planet. So does everybody else. The guy that works the water, water filtration plant before everybody gets drinking water, I would say he was an important individual. He doesn't ask for a, a, a plaque and a certificate to say how great he is and a pat on the back. He just does his job. He doesn't turn around and go, 
well, I think I need special recognition because I am doing this, is because of the culture that exists in these environments. The culture is a non-blame culture, which means that often these people are incompetent, often do take excess sick time, etc., etc. At the same time, we'll go, oh, well, it's a hard job or whatever because we have to do X, Y, Z. Soldiers do it. Soldiers have one of the worst environments and also the worst paid. Yet they're the least ones that moan. They are in conflict zones, etc., losing body parts, etc., while other people are going, I have to deal with a car crash and I should pity me. No, I pity the soldiers because their life is much, much harder, a lot harder risks. And at the same time, you're demanding that you put yourself above them on some magic pedestal. No, I respect the armed forces far more. Another thing is, a lot of time, the armed forces aren't allowed to strike for a start. They also have the issue around the fact that um, they are dealing with legal cases against them now that um, weren't there before. They were under orders, they were doing as they were told, yet betrayed by their own governments. So from my point of view, the only people I actually respect is the military. And it's not because I respect military leaders, because don't get me wrong, and don't assume this also means the conflict zones, because I don't agree with that either. Because the point is, the thing with a soldier is they're following your orders. And at the end of the day, whether they agree or not, they get on with it. That's the reality of it. They get on with it. And at the same time, they risk, risk, risk legal action for doing their job. That was sanctioned by their own state today, and then tomorrow, they're betrayed. So, if anybody um, I have sympathy for, or respect for, is those that are actually doing the job they're paid for, and don't whine about it. Thanks for watching.